parents who knock on their kids' doors and then immediately open it anyway, what's your thought process? I had a bed platform for a while, and it got very squeaky. I was cleaning one day, reaching to my left, tossing on my right, the whole time squeaking the bed. My mom didn't knock and immediately open, she straight up bust through the door as quick as she could, having approached it with stealth, whereas any other time she would drag her feet through the hall like a sloth. What it did accomplish, is it almost gave me a heart attack. I jumped nearly half a foot, it was that abrupt. Needless to say, I haven't been able to stop wondering what my mother was hoping to see. I can't even look at her without thinking she's some kind of a creep, you hear your son's bed squeaking, so you sneak up, and bust through the door, why? My son's doctor told me to start knocking on my son's door, and waiting until he responds come in, at his 10-year-old checkup. I hadn't really thought of it before, but I made sure to do just that. Only time I come in is if I've knocked multiple times, and I figure he is asleep, he will fall asleep with his glasses and TV on, so I come in to take care of that. Good. My mom has opened my door without me giving her permission since I was like nine. It gave me quick reflexes I guess though. Don't ever make your kid drastically try to find something to cover up with though, it's not a good experience. I had to move back in with my folks after splitting from my wife. My mom tried to pull that shit on me, but I was smart and the door was always locked. So instead I would get, the doors locked. Yeah, no shit. Why are you trying to barge in here? I could be naked with a hairbrush up my butt for all you know. I remember those days. Once I was home for the day, the clothes came off and I'd throw on a housecoat if I was venturing out of my room. I'd hear my mother approaching my bedroom door, she would call my name, and two seconds later, she would try the doorknob. It's locked. I haven't even had the chance to respond to her and she's already trying to open the door. When I get the chance to tell her just a second and position myself behind the door to crack it open, it goes something like this. Her, why is your door locked? Me, to stop you from barging in on me naked. Her, oh please. It's not like I'm just going to barge in. Me, if you weren't about to barge in, how did you know the door was locked? This was not a one-time incident. Edit, punctuation. Very modern family thing here. My parents never knock. So I usually lock it so they can't open and catch me doing something wrong. But that habit of never knocking kind of instilled in my brain. So I never knocked as a kid either. Saw some crap when I walked into brother's room once. Also know that every time my parents do lock the door, they're doing the deed. Therefore, teach kids to knock and wait until you open. Do the same for them. Don't waltz in. Don't barge in. Because they'll do that to you too. Learn from me. Edit, thank you kind stranger, for the silver. It's my very first. My mom did and still does that when I go back home to visit once a year, I'm 30 BTW. TOC 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 can I come in? Opens the door. Sometimes I'll open my eyes to her grabbing empty water bottles out of my room. Oh sorry I though you were sleeping. Yes Pauline I was sleeping until you decided to come in at 7 a.m. on my vacation time for no reason. The worst is that my grandma is nothing like that. Only her. No respect for privacy or sleep. We lived with my in-laws for a month while between apartments, my mill would always barge in to clean or just grab something from the closet. One night she swung the door open at two in the goddamn morning, don't know why. I'm startled out of a deep sleep, confused, and see a silhouette standing in my doorway, so naturally I start screaming at the top of my lungs in terror. That was the last time she did that, haha. <laughs> my mother-in-law does this. I live across town and she will just waltz in like she owns the place with no notice that she is even coming over. No knock or anything. My wife's sisters do this as well. I don't know what's wrong with this family. So instead of locking my door I just walk around naked. 
either give me time to put clothes on or watch my flaxed penis dangle as I greet you. If she just walks in I assume she's fine with me being naked. My GFS mother did the waltz and uninvited into my apartment shortly after she moved in. In my apartment. Where I pay the rent. GFS eyes were daggers. So I just subtly blocked her in the entry hallway. Took all the random ass groceries she brought that nobody asked for. Was polite and conversational. Just didn't move. So it's her just inside a wide open apartment door, a six foot hallway with nothing but a coat closet, and the entire apartment, including her daughter watching TV on the couch, behind me. She didn't want to be so blatant as to try and just muscle past me, I would have had to move for her to enter, so she just kinda let the conversation die and excused herself. It took a conversation between her and GF for her to understand oh. I don't have open access to other people's property because a blood relative is present. Yes. Exactly that. I gave my in-laws a very stern warning when I gave them a key to my house. If you ever come over unannounced and just let yourself in, I will drop everything and strip naked to meet you at the front door to collect your key. Edit, why give a key? Bird sitters while on vacation. In case of catastrophe slash emergency. Why are so many confused as to why I do not want them to just barge in unannounced? My wife once invited her parents over to do something while she was out and didn't tell me. So they walk in on me. Later I have this conversation. Why didn't you tell me your parents were coming over? What? You were home. That's my point. What if I was dancing around naked to Barry Manilow? We don't even have any Barry Manilow. Fine, I was dancing naked to you too. Still a heads up would be nice.